Now it's time to discuss purpose of package-log.json file. In Yarn, this file is called yarn.log and it has other structure. So why do we need this file? Remember that when you install each dependency that is listed in package.json file and if this package has its own dependencies, they will be installed as well. Log file keeps three of all installed dependencies along with child dependencies and childs of the child dependencies. And this file also includes all versions of each package. Let's now discuss what will happen if we will use just one package.json file. Here is first example. Let's suppose that our project has one dependency, dependency A, and its version is listed as semware version, so caret 1.2.3. It means that any compatible changes are allowed. And let's suppose that I perform npm install on one computer. And version that will be installed is 1.2.3. It is the latest version at the moment of installation. Let's suppose that then I publish this project to GitHub. And of course, I do this without node modules folder. And let's suppose that later on someone will pull this repository and perform installation of external packages using npm install command. And meanwhile, version of this dependency A will be updated to, for example, version 1.3.3. In this case, this version will be installed on another computer because it is still compatible with this Samvar version. So it is compatible with version 1.2.3 with caret. It means that now on different computers, different versions of external package will be installed. So minor version update usually means that some new features are added. In this case, someone who uses more recent version of dependency A with new features will be able to use those features and update our project. If I then will pull those updates and try to launch our project, I may get errors because I don't have those new features of dependency A because my version is older than version that was used to implement new updates in our project. So that is a problem. In this example, version of direct dependency was changed. Let's look at another example. In this example, there is dependency A and its version was not changed, but it has own dependency, dependency B. And version of this dependency was changed from version 2.0.0 to version 2.1.0. And again, in our case, if we have just one package.json file, it even doesn't have this dependency B listed. It is listed in the package.json file of dependency A. And in this example, also some problems may arise because you use different versions of dependencies. That's the problem that this log file solves. If you use log file, it lists exact versions of all packages that are used in your project. And then you can delete node modules folder, publish your package into GitHub repository, and then all others that will pull this repository and perform npm install will install same software versions of all packages. Before moving on with log file discussion, you will get a challenge. And in this challenge, you will see what will happen if version of the package was updated. So, task for the challenge next. See you.